Hey, peeps. So guess what we're doing today? Where are we going? House hunting. Ooh. There might be a reason why this time. Uh-oh. Can't let it out of the bag yet. We don't want to spoil it because, you know, we don't want to put bad, bad juju out there, right? <laughs> right. So we're going to go. We looked at a house yesterday. We're looking at another house today here. Um, so it's going to be exciting. What do you think, Fab? Oh, you ready for a new chapter in our lives? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. So, got some exciting news. Um, Y'all know that my house has been for sale for a while. Um, some of you don't understand why it hasn't sold. Um, it's pretty simple. <laughs> as a real estate agent, um, things in Houston, Texas don't sell as fast, usually as say in LA or New York, because Houston is really based on oil. The oil market, the oil industry, oil and gas really helps sustain or push or Sometimes the oil and gas industry falls apart, like it did during the pandemic, as well as other things. But I'm just saying, um, ever since our house went on the market, um, our house started out at 12.9 million back in 2014, which was about the same price as most any other house of this size in this neighborhood. And then the oil industry went to hell in 2014, 2015. And so, everything came to a screeching halt as far as high-end real estate. Um, so then we had to start lowering the price of our house to 11 million and to 9 million. And so anyways, um, also this house is very large, which then cuts your audience that you're looking at down even smaller. It also sits on two acres, which is a lot of upkeep, which a lot of people don't want. So it cuts your audience down even smaller. Of course, it's got a humongous closet, which a lot of women don't want because they maybe don't have what it needs to fill it up or who knows. So that cuts your audience down some more. So we've really had about 1% of the population if, or even less than that, be able to want or afford this particular house. And so if you know anything about real estate and certain markets and certain areas, you'll understand why sometimes high-end real estate sits on the market for extremely long amounts of time. So anyways, with that said, we finally have a buyer. We have it under contract. I will be packing up. Um, we're going to try to vlog this entire move. <laughs> the great thing is, is um, it's a great family that's buying this home. They're also purchasing all the furniture and everything. The home that I'm going to is very beautiful and we're actually purchasing their furniture too. It's modern and contemporary. So um, I'm excited, I'm kind of nervous, I'm scared. I've lived in this particular neighborhood for 13 years. Um, I'm not revealing to anyone whether I'm staying in this neighborhood or if the house that we're going to is in a different neighborhood. I will not reveal that uh, for privacy sakes. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. Um, We've actually been in this house for seven years. It's been a fantastic house. It's been so much fun. We've had so many music videos shot here, including Gucci Mane. We've had a few small weddings done here. We've had so many parties, so many fundraisers, so many meet and greets, so, just so, there's so much history and memory here. And it was funny, because my daughter was like, oh my God, mom, how are you gonna just be able to leave that house, oh my God. And it's like I told her with every house that we've ever lived in. The house down the street, four houses down we lived in. Uh, amazing memories there, fundraisers, parties. I renewed my wedding vows at that house. Uh, the first house that we lived in here in Carlton Woods, uh, we got, actually got married in the backyard because we couldn't get married in the Caribbean because my daughter was having twins. And so every house we've ever lived in has had amazing memories. But you have to remember guys, those memories are right here. You can't, you can't take the house with you when you die. You can't, you know, that's, memories are made to be stored up here. Um, 
And so I will say goodbye to this house. It'll be a little tearful because it's, it's held a lot of memories, but I'm so excited for a new chapter. I'm so excited to see where this new chapter takes us. Um, I know we have a lot of a lot of travel plans on the horizon also. Um, yes, I'm moving to a slightly smaller house than this one. Um, this one's 17,000 square feet. So I am downsizing just a little bit because it is just me and my husband. Um, and this house was always meant to be a flip house. And so, um, excited. So I just want you to know that I'm going into a new chapter in my life. It is scary. Um, but you know what? I'm embracing it and I'm welcoming welcoming it because I, I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun. So as crappy as 2020 has been, 2020 is going to have some amazing, wonderful things happen for me. And I'm grateful. Um, one is the sale of this house and we get to go on, move on to a new chapter and a new house. Um, I'm part of a new project that's and, and Fab's part of the project too, that's, that's unfolding and developing. And I'm so excited that I was chosen to be part of that exciting uh, part of the world, TV. I can't reveal too much. Um, I'm gonna be all, I'm gonna be coming out with my own cosmetics line. Um, so that's happening. My coaching classes and coaching calls are going great. Thank you guys so much. Um, so yeah, I mean like, you know, I always tell people you have to manifest what you want to have happen. And, and my husband was on the phone the other day, he was talking to a guy, and this guy was just talking, just Debbie Downer crap, just blah, 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 blah. And I just said, you know, God, get off the phone with this guy. I said, we can concentrate on all the negative things that are happening in this world, or we can, Understand that there's negative things happening in this world, including a pandemic, including unemployment, including all that kind of stuff. But we can also try to look at the positive side of things and manifest positive things in our lives instead of just constantly focusing on the negative. Um, you know, I haven't had a relationship with my mother for the past six years or so. Um, she stopped by and visited with me the other day. So that was something good for 2020. Um, so yeah, guys, you know, I just, I just wanted to pop on here, uh, talk to you a little bit and show you one of the properties that we are actually looking at here. Um, and I'm not going to let you know which, which one we chose. We'll, we'll reveal that later on. So I hope you enjoy the video. I, uh, I'm just excited guys. I, and I, I love sharing my world and my life with you. So. Have fun watching the video and uh, let me know what your thoughts are. So guys, we had so much fun looking at houses these last couple days, so um, hopefully this whole deal with my house goes through. Um, but yeah, we've been looking at a couple different houses. 
houses. We kind of have one picked up that we kind of like more than the other one, but we'll see. So it's always fun going and looking at houses because it's fun to think of going to that next adventure, that next chapter in the book, and it's always fun to have a new house and new ideas and new projects and everything. Yes. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video today of some house shopping. Uh, stay tuned so that you can see what comes of the house shopping and see where we end up with the sale of our house. So with that said guys, get out there, follow me everywhere. I'm, I'm literally everywhere. We're going to list everything in the description box. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can always get notification of when I have a new video up for you guys. And so, and make sure you get out there and follow Fab. <laughs> Because you know, they're, everybody's worried that I don't promote Fab enough. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Fab. <laughs> they're, they're, you know, I just use and abuse people, don't I, Fab? <laughs> Jesus, God. Oh, I'm telling you, you all think we don't read the comments, but we do. <laughs> and sometimes we laugh. I mean, like, it's hilarious. So, And then sometimes we delete. <laughs> So anyways, guys, love you to death. <laughs> Make sure you're following me everywhere. And until next time, bye-bye.